What's up YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max as people know him in the real world, and today I'm bringing you guys a couple different gameplays. First one being part of a 3v3 wager match, and the second one being part of a dubs match, so enjoy that in the background. But today's video is going to be going over some of the news that recently dropped about Black Ops 3. If you guys haven't heard, there was some news released about what's going on with last gen consoles in Black Ops 3. Some people don't care at all about it, some people are devastated and others are happy about it. So I'll kind of go over it and we'll go over what I think and you guys can let me know what you guys think in the comments below. So the biggest thing that was announced was that Black Ops 3 will not come with a campaign mode on last gen consoles. The reason given was for, you know, just kind of the graphical quality. Basically they designed it around the PS4 and Xbox One platforms and just the last gen consoles can't handle it that's what they're telling us it makes sense um i think it's the right move because you know you've got to make the best game you possibly can and if you've got consoles supporting it you know that's good enough i mean i think that's probably the right move um the next bit of news is that it's going to be developed by Beanox and mercenary technology instead of treyarch studios uh that seems a little bit Weird, I don't know why Treyarch would hand that off, but I mean, I it should still probably be alright, but that'll just be a little bit weird. Uh, the multiplayer will include the new movement and characters, so the multiplayer should be fine, and zombies will still be there. Um, they didn't say if they're reducing anything in it, but they said it, they can both be played to their entirety. So, But I'm assuming graphic quality will be reduced, and maybe some other things but nobody said anything about it but it should most for the most part be there um the weapons paint shop won't be there that kind of sucks i mean that's something i'm personally looking forward to but it makes sense for it not to be on last gen consoles simply because that is something that's highly detailed i'm assuming it would require you know higher graphic content um capabilities and things like that uh maybe a few programming issues with it so makes sense in that area and it's not a huge thing really so it should be all right uh next thing is that the esports tools like the new esports tools that they're implementing won't be there i think that's kind of just kind of lazy on their part i think that should be implemented i don't see any reason for it to not be i don't really see it being that difficult to implement but that's just me um it's i mean sure you know esports isn't gonna be on last gen consoles but they're still gonna be competitive players and uh, YouTubers and streamers on those platforms. So I think it should still kind of be there for those people. Uh, next thing is that it's going to come with a free, and I say that in quotation marks, copy of Black Ops 1 for the last gen consoles. So yay, I guess. I mean, you can probably go down to GameStop and get Black Ops 1 for 5 10 bucks as is, or get it for a friend for maybe even cheaper, so I don't see the big deal there. Um... And the price is going to be $50 instead of $60. Woohoo, it's a whole $10 difference. Um, you're missing a third of the game, so it should be a third of the price. It should be 40 instead of 60 That's how I view it. And you, some could argue that it's more than a third because the campaign takes up so much of the actual you know, game. There's a lot more... Uh, programming and developing that goes into that a lot more time and effort and you know people being paid to create that rather than the multiplayer so i i could see people arguing it being even cheaper than that but at least they reduced it some i guess but i, I feel like it should be 40 dollars or less um if you're going to reduce the price like that and they're going to be releasing it on the same date as the other gens so everything will be released on november 6th so Overall, I think it's kind of a bad thing because, you know, last gen people aren't going to be playing it. That being said, I feel like kids these days, most of us and adults are capable of getting the newer gens a lot easier. You know, it's not as huge of a thing for us to get new gens anymore. So I, I think it'll be all right, but it does kind of suck that old gens don't get campaign. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. So as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know what I can do better next time. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everybody, peace out.